Nice. This is what I like about the back. Oh, stupid turtle. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this control is working anymore. Or just me. It's probably me. Birdies. Oh my gosh. Okay, um Yeah, I'm doing actually good right now. This is my Oh you stupid bird. Okay, I don't want to be like the Mario frustration. So let's get to the other part of this video. Let's record. Let's see. Record. It lags out the game a little. Because I need more RAM, it looks like. See? Yep. It's lagging. Yep. And it. Yeah. I died. There is not enough disk space to continue recording. Yeah, I filled that gig. And see, when it saves, you can see the little video right there of the actual gameplay. If <laughs> it plays. So this is like the DVR of the 19th century. And some reason it's still playing the Mario song even though I shut this thing off. But okay. Yeah, about that. What else do I got on this Mac? Apple spec data database. I don't know what this is, but something for Apple. Menu. I guess it tells me about everything this computer has. Video. Yes, I don't want to print it. Ah, yes, continue. So actually, it tells me of every single model this thing has. Well, different model Max. Uh, the 8600, two megabytes of VRAM, standard four megabytes. Blah blah blah. Power Macintosh G3 desktop. 6 megabyte SG RAM. Uh, yeah, you can't really see it, but it says it right there. Um, I might need to make this video into two parts. Yeah, probably will have to. Applications. Oh, did I mention this thing has a CD player? It's really good. The sound quality is pretty good. This for that single speaker. 
Let me get that ready. And let me turn off this Mario. And let me find a freaking CD here. Right there, red hot chili peppers. Okay, um. That's coming from one single speaker inside that machine. Pretty good. I can also control it from right here on the Pause it, you can pause this stuff all right here. Of course you know that already. Program. Um yeah, nothing fancy like iTunes here. But yeah, this is the video of my Power Macintosh 8500. For the time of this machine was built, and for today, it's still really a functional machine. Like for, you could do video editing on it, you could watch TV, you could record movies and TV and video games. I just need to add the extra RAM, and this thing will be really fast actually can't wait but hopefully you guys like this video and looking and if you guys are looking forward for the next video I'll do a next video of the upgrade too all right then see you later